Hola amigos! I'm in Mexico and we are about to ride Baja. I'm in Cabo San Lucas with Tyler and the gang from Ride Adventures. We are about to ride all of Baja from Cabo San Lucas all the way to San Diego. It's gonna take us a week to get there and it's gonna be amazing. So, so excited to be here. Big thanks and shout out to Ride Adventures for bringing me along on this trip. And I will link to it because you can do the same trip that we're doing if you decide after watching this video or these videos that you want to. Highly recommend it. Company I've been working with for a while. Tyler's a fantastic guide, but I'm so excited to see Baja and ride off-road. 50-50 off-road, on-road, all the way up to California. So I am going to be riding a Tenere 700. Very unfamiliar for me, as you know. But here's the crew getting ready. There's Eduardo, aka Slow Eddie, aka robbed an Alpine Star store before he came. What's up, gents? You excited? We're gonna do this? And it's, it's time, it's happening. So we are stoked to get out and hit the road this morning. I'll stop talking and get to the riding. Bienvenidos a Mexico. All right, we're suited up. The boys are on their bikes. I'm the last one because I'm filming and screwing around. I can't tell who's who with their helmet on. Paul, JD, Jeff, and uh, Casey, Eddie, Tyler. That's Shy and our support rig. So all of our luggage and everything is in that truck. He will just meet us at the stops and uh, at the end of the day at the hotel. So I just have camera gear in my bag here. Enjoy the ride, it's the best way to do it. It's so weird to be on a trip like this and not just be drowning in camping gear. Oh, those vents are already working. I'm gonna be happy with this gear. That direct venting on this MSR gear, it's gonna be a damn godsend. Lifesaver, really. So we have four Tenere 700s. Me, Eddie, Tyler, and JD are on those. Two CB500 Xs. Got Paul and KC on those, and then Jeff is here on the almighty 1100 Africa Twin. A hell of a machine. Hey, hey, we're rolling. We're riding in Mexico. Hell yeah. It's happening. Okay, I'm loving this Tenere already. Hell yeah. All right, let's do it. I'm getting a ton of good airflow from this MSR gear. That is impressive. That's gonna be good today, I think. All right, look at that. Unbelievable. Look at where we are. Look at this. Oh my God. Gorgeous. It's unbelievable. It is, I'm gonna crash. I'm looking at all the gorgeous stuff. It's gonna happen. Oh, it is good to be in the saddle. It is good to be somewhere where it's not 32 degrees. Motorcyclists don't wave to you in Mexico. What the hell is this? A bunch of military recruits. First I thought it was a riot. Turns out it's just people exercising. Yo! They're having fun. You don't see that every day. Nor do you see a giant statue of a giant metal person holding up a giant metal fish. <laughs> cool. It's pretty cool, bro. Oh, man. I have a terrible job. the pavement it's happening it's happening boys eddie hey brother how's she treating you real good real good you ready for this <laughs> oh yeah dude i'm so excited that's oh, gonna be sweet yeah hell yeah i was just like freaking laughing like a kid you know just like i don't want to do this for so long okay first off road section in mexico look at that sky behind me gorgeous Here he comes. There's Eduardo. Eduardo? That's not even him. That's not Eddie. I did pass him, right? This concerns me. I'm gonna go find him. Oh shit, he's on the ground there. Not good. So Paul has never ridden sand before. We were a little worried about him, but thought we'd just take it easy and he'd be fine. Uh, he'd get his feet wet, you know, all that. But he hit a rut down here and I uh, landed on his shoulder pretty hard. So he's not gonna ride anymore today. He's not sure how bad it is, but he can't really move it. Worried it's separated or something. Hopefully it's not too bad, but we're out here with no cell phone service. So Tyler got on the satellite phone, 
Look at this bug, gross. Sent out the SOS and uh, we're gonna ride down. There's a restaurant down here to get Wi-Fi to get arrangements made. Cause we have a truck in the trailer. That's the joy of the supported ride. So sorry to see you get hurt, Paul. And we're gonna get him taken care of. So I'm gonna ride down the road, meet the dudes, tell them what happened. And uh, we will wait for Tyler to connect with us at a restaurant. He hit, it was like a bad combination of stuff. He hit a rut in about two inches of sand. And when a rut is filled with sand, it is very difficult to correct and get out of it, especially if you don't have the instinct to just give it more gas, you know? He's pretty sore, pretty sore. But that is the joy of the supported ride. You know, thank God, that's what you pay the money for, to have the, the support truck and the guide who takes care of all your emergencies and problems. Um, especially when you're in a foreign country and don't exactly know how all that works. It's nice to have someone with you that knows. And that is Tyler, and he's a rock star. I hope you get, uh, get better fast, Paul. So, we stopped. So we're here at La Fortuna, and holy crap, look at this place. You gotta hang out for a bit. Not a bad place to do it. This is the coolest place I've ever had chips and salsa. <laughs> We're, we're about half an hour in. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be all fine. Well, as terrible as it was to have to hang out there for half an hour, we are going to hit the road again. Down a man, but determined to press on to adventure. All right, back on the road. Just got wild burros out here. Hola, burro. Hola. Let me go. We are here in Cabo Pulmo, where we are stopping for lunch. That kid has toilet paper. Dude, GoPro, hell yeah. Oh my dear lord, what a place. What a place. Where's tacos and beer, right there? Oh, no, no, that's not it. Oh, there it is. Tacos y beer. I can't not eat at a place called Tacos and Beer. So we're here in Cabo Pulmo, and when you come across a place called Tacos y Beer, uh, you eat there, so that's what we're doing. Hola. We be any too. Ah, sí. No se te hago. Admittedly, my Spanish isn't fantastic, but I'm pretty sure that says, "Don't come in here drunk. Leave." <laughs> Which I love. Well, I'm looking at the menu and I think you guys would be mad at me if I didn't get a, a taco pulpo. So, we're gonna do that. <laughs> yes, it does. That's why I'm eating it. I got an octopus taco because I knew you guys would, would never let me live it down if I didn't. So, this will be good. <sighs> okay, food is here. Octopus, fish, shrimp. Fried, fried, not fried. All right, do I start with the pulpo or end with the Should pulpo? we do the pulpo together? Mm, yes, I think so. Eddie and I are going to consume our octopus tacos. This is some juicy pulpo. The, the, the juiciest pulpo I've ever eaten. Hey, pulpo cheers. Pulpo cheers. <laughs> All right. Is it Tyler? No. Oh my 
Chicago show. Hey, Diamond. Like a last. I knew it was going to be. This is kind of just unreal. The view here. I'm sitting on sand. I rode a motorcycle here. How is this real life? Tyler helped me out with the, with the Baracho sign. I did not say what I thought it said, which would have surprised me. This doesn't seem like a very Mexican sentiment. But it actually says, you don't arrive here drunk, you leave here drunk. Yeah. Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. It's a joke. Well, that was an awesome place to stop. Good tacos. I will say I'll probably not be eating any more pulpo on this trip, but five of 10 on the octopus. But still, Cabo Pumo didn't disappoint. It is getting hot. It was not supposed to be warmer than 70 degrees on this trip, which is why I brought this gear. My bike says 88 right now, so we need to get moving. Today's supposed to be the warmest day, though. As we go north, it gets cooler, so I'm not ready to be mad about it yet. Yeah, that airflow is really helping. The vents on this are good when you're moving. It's just standing around the heat. It sucks. One of the hazards unique to this part of the world, or maybe not unique to this part of the world, because you do see them where I come from, but one thing you don't think about is having to deal with cows. You didn't expect to see cows in the road, you know? But well, here we go. What's up, cows in the road? I'm dork in the road. Yeehaw. I definitely don't go off jumps. Like, that's just dumb. Don't do it. canyon run and it would have been even more fun if we were going a little faster but got ourselves a forerunner going really slow in front of us but the, it gives me time to look at the view so i'll take it oh look at this cool cobblestone this road is hella cool it's old school cobblestone i've never ridden on anything like this before i don't think Quick stop here in El Triunfo, check out the smokestacks and the cool water runoff and the really neat bridge and the uh, the cobblestones are amazing. This is a really gorgeous place, but we're a little behind schedule because of the events of today. So we're going to keep going. I feel like we're going to hit a little bit more dirt um, on the way to La Paz. That's the plan. Here we are. Well, apparently we are not stopping for snow cones, sadly, but we are going to take this very fine packed dirt road to La Paz, or most of the way to La Paz. Got a little layer of uh, grit. I don't even call it sand. It's like small rocks on top of it. It's like lava. Ooh, okay. I thought there was not gonna be sand on this road. That, survey says, that was a lie. This is a great bike for this. Gotta love the Tenere. Crazy how fast you get used to like, there's just cactus everywhere and I'm just like, oh, there's a cactus. We're just like, I see cactus. I've seen cactus like this maybe four times in my whole life. There's a cow. Probably gonna get old, me being like, there's a cow, but I think it's neat that there's a cow. Horse there's cows, house, it's a cow farm. Don't be cows outside. I'm not quoting that correctly, but it's a meme. It's a, it's a TikTok thing. There's another cow. That one's got a black eye. Um, more cows. In case you weren't sure. They didn't, they're not really uh, enjoying Tyler's company. These cows. I don't blame them, you know. He's a weird guy. Ooh. Oh, shit. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. 
Whoa, this is cool. It's like a basketball court. Got like a school or something? More cows. No, those are goats. It is a wildlife tour today out here near the boss. Look at that guy, huge horns. I don't want to piss him off. Damn, dude. What up, goats? There's goats in their hills. Ooh, no, 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 no very cool, dude. Very cool, dude. Oh, that's a Santa Royal. Yeah, we're in a riverbed right now. Yeah, this is definitely the best riding we've done. This is the hardest. I mean, unless you just hate sand a lot. Although this has sand. This is fun up and down shenanigans. Some real riding. That's what I'm talking about, son. <sighs> that's what I'm talking about, son. What I came to Mexico for. Oh, that is a big rut. Jeez, I keep going to turn the camera off, but there's just too much good stuff. Look at this rut. Yeah, you don't want to miss that one. Whoa. Whoa. Cow. This one actually has water in it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hun. Ooh. Oh man, I knew I turned that on at the right time. Watch Tyler do something stupid. That is Tyler's speciality. Dude, when you fall, you're gonna be happy you have all that gear on. Gorgeous place to stop. Look at that sky. But we gotta keep going because we're gonna run out of daylight. So that's what we're gonna do. He didn't crash, damn it. He never obliges me when I need good footage. We'll get there. Day ain't over yet. Appears we're saying farewell to the dirt for today and headed into La Paz on the road. Not a great road, it's a little bit like riding off. Oh my god, that gets worse than the road we were on. It's bumpier. Ooh, there's a free couch. Gorgeous, I can smell the ocean. Wow, cool. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm tired. What a day of riding, 10 hours on the bikes, 10 hours. How's it going, Eddie? Dude. Time of your life. <laughs> that was a day, bro. It was. How you feeling right now, boys? It feels real good. That's nice. That's nice. First day, had a great first day. Yeah, that was. It was. That was a fantastic first day. Yeah. Very cool. Totally satisfied. That's what they like to hear at Ride Adventures. Eddie. Yes, sir. That was your first day. Even more than I would have expected. Wow. Well, we ended up at Cabo Pulmo, which is like one of my favorite spots ever. So. But I've never done it on a motorcycle, so. So. It was incredible. It was incredible. Yeah. And highway, oh, uh, Cat Tierra Numero Tres was awesome. Whatever that was called. Highway 3 in Espanol. Yeah. How you feeling, KC? Feeling great. How was your day? That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That was a great time. Yeah, agreed. Are you ready to be at the hotel, though? 
Oh yeah. Yeah, same, same. Tyler, how was your day? Oh, I'm the best, man. Yeah? The best. You've never seen anything like this before. Best group I've ever had. Oh, well, <laughs> that goes without saying, but thank you for saying it. Yeah, <laughs> Tyler's done this before. Better. Well, I'm gonna flip around because the lighting sucks. Get on a motorcycle like you're in a He's anyway, he's riding back to America right now. How's this? Yeah, okay, more Captain Morgan. So you guys always ask, and, and rightfully so, how is the guy that got hurt? And I almost never get to see them again, but Paul is here, and uh, you wanna just tell us about your day yesterday? I survived, but it was the best adventure I've ever had. It's <laughs> very cool, very cool. I'm gonna do it again someday. You wanna tell us what happened to you? I just, I just hit a big, big patch of sand and went down. But I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. He's in high spirits. So what? Uh, what's your prognosis? Uh, just a little crack in the in the shoulder here, but I'm gonna get it fixed up. So he's uh, he's flying out. So we're in the pause. Although you're not flying internationally, you're just flying to Mexico City and then home to Virginia. Yes. That's what's great about these these guided tours is Shy was there. Like what? You were there an hour maybe. Shy was the best. Yeah. Yeah. He's the MVP. He is the MVP. He took such good care of me. So there you go. All right, man. Well, I'm glad we got to see you again. I hope you have safe travels. And I'm really sorry that happened, but uh, I'm sure the stickers I just gave you make you feel all better. Yeah, crash and break your shoulder. You're going to have free stickers. That's what I'm saying. All right, man. Well, safe travels. Thank you. Good morning. It is day two. We are in beautiful, sunny, which is not a thing I've seen in months. La Paz. Just getting our stuff ready, getting up on the bikes and ready to go for our day two here in Baja. A lot of pavement this morning, I've been told, and then a little bit of dirt towards the end of the day. But we're gonna make some miles today to get to Laredo. Laredo, Laredo, Laredo's in Texas. It's gonna be awesome. So you guys saw Paul, he is he is here, he's in high spirits, but he will not be accompanying us on the rest of the trip, unfortunately, which sucks, but kind of hard to ride with only one arm, I guess. So looking forward to a good day, maybe a little bit less footage today just because highway, but I'll try to bring you guys in along the way so you can get a sense of the sights and the views and the riding in case you're thinking about coming down to Mexico yourself. I will say, a big advantage of these guided tours, I think I said it when I was talking to Paul, is it's really nice to have that support rig to just come get them and get them out of there. I don't know what we'd have done if we were by ourselves. Have to rely on an ambulance or something down here. I don't know. So I'm just glad we had that. So we're going to get on the bike and ten, head out, and I'll catch up with you guys along the way. Okay, we are suited up. We are geared up. We're going to leave the hotel here in La Paz and make our way to Loretto. Tenere is crushing it. All right, here we go. All right, lots of highway today, so we'll bring you in here and there. There's like a carnival going on here in La Paz. I didn't really film it last night, but like we literally had dinner in the middle of a carnival. Just like a big festival. Look, you can see these parade floats. Check these out. Pretty cool. You don't just see this stuff on the side of the road at home. You know? Freaking cool, dude. Freaking cool. I actually got to lane split last night for the first time in my life because Traffic laws in Mexico are a suggestion, so there was a lot of traffic and we just cut right down the middle of it. It was actually very nice. All right, on to Loretto. I don't know what this is. Inspection, checkpoint, there's no one here. So we're just gonna keep going. Sick, okay. Well, I've been inspected. Gas stop here in Ciudad Constitucion. Let me get off the bike for a minute. We've been riding for about two hours, so I'm ready to get my helmet off for a bit. Great stop here in Ciudad Constitucion. Uh, I had a uh, taquito de machaca. I've never had machaca before. It was delicious. Oh my god. It's like a dehydrated beef that they rehydrate and like cook with jalapenos and onions. Yeah, it was good. The, the roadside food options in Mexico are so much better than America where it's just McDonald's. You know what I mean? Just a quick 15 minute stop. I needed a break for my helmet and this non C concept seat. I love my C concept seat and this trip is making me appreciate it even more because my butt hurts. So I get back on the road. Great pit stop. 
We just passed like a huge group of dudes on BMWs, KTM 1290s, and I saw a Multistrada going the other way. We'll see if there's any more. Looks like there might be some up here. But they're all waving back, so I think they might be Americans. BMW, BMW. That was a Harley. Okay, so I suck at reading Mexican road signs because we were not in Ciudad Constitucion before. Now we are on Ciudad Constitucion. And I know because there's a giant ass sign that says, Welcome to Ciudad Constitucion. So, apologies for us leading you astray earlier. I just basically never know where the hell we are. This is what's happening. But here we are, Ciudad Constitucion. For real this time, I think. 90% sure. Based on the welcome sign. I'm gonna go with yes. Whew, we've been riding for like another hour. I've done some miles on my Tenere, but this one is uh, uncomfortable. One, again, I'm out of riding shape, that's for sure. Uh, I don't like the seat at all. Definitely feeling the seat. I mentioned that already. Uh, the grips are different. So I have those heated grips on my bike, which apparently absorb a little bit more shock than this. So I'll be good. I'll be happy to get off. It's not unbearable. It's just nice to get off the bike once in a while. Here we are in Ciudad Constitucion. Eddie, how's it going? Hola. Hola. Jefe, how's your riding so far? Muy bien. Muy bien. This is Jeff, but we've decided to start Jefe. calling him Jefe. Jefe, because J is silent in Spanish. That's right. So we got a little taco shop here. We got a Tyler here. We got a grocery store and a really good coffee shop that uh, looks a lot like home. So this is where we're having a little... It's lunch, but we're not super hungry, so just a couple tacos, but look at this. I'm super hungry. Hola. Hola, amigos. Speak for yourself. I'm super hungry. Eddie's always super hungry. So here's what I've learned so far. I thought I was pretty good with salsa until I came here, so I'm taking it easy because even the mild stuff is hotter than I usually eat. Mm. Yeah. 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 Really the carnitas right here. That's what I'm talking about. The food here. It's a whole other world. And of course, the most Mexican of Mexican authentic beverages, a frappuccino. It's actually really good. Blended mocha. Sounded good. Need a little coffee. Back on the road here in Ciudad Constitucion. That coffee was delicious. I don't care what you say. That whipped cream was like so much thicker than at home. I don't know. We have about 30 more miles of pavement, I guess, today. And then we're gonna off-road it to Loretto. That will be awesome. Looking forward to it. That lunch was amazing. It's carnitas, and he was just making them right there. Slow cooking them. Oh my God, so good. I mean, I was looking forward to the riding the most and like seeing the sights and seeing Mexico. Those are all high on my list, but damn was the food high on the list too. I love Mexican food. So let's roll. This is gonna be a good time. This is Ciudad Insurgentes, I'm pretty sure but you know how well I have been reading the signs lately, so don't take that on faith. Don't believe me? Take it with a grain of salt. Let's go with that. Look at this desert racer, holy crap. Everything's street legal up here, down here. Look at this thing. Could you imagine just railing this through the desert? Oh my God, so cool. So we just lost Hefe. He is headed back to the hotel for the night. He's not feeling great. So, uh, just the five of us, Tyler, Eddie, KC, me of course, and behind me is JD, the rock star, who has continually volunteered to sweep for us on this trip. What a good guy. And we're about 20 minutes from some dirt today, and we're gonna ride dirt into Loretto. And, uh, topes. There's the tope. So the fun part of the day is about to begin. We had to cover the miles, because we have to get to San Diego. So there's gonna be some days where you gotta hit some highway, but. I, you know, I love, the dirt riding is like a bonus to me on this trip. I want to come see Mexico, experience it, see parts of Baja I've never been to, and getting in some awesome dirt riding, even better. But just seeing it was the coolest part for me. So I do not mind a day with some highway miles because it's the only way to see it all in the time we have. Oh man, time that well. Looks like we're leaving the pavement. I, I feel very good knowing you're behind me because you're unlikely to crash, so if I go down, you'll find me eventually. What do you say, JD? You ready? I'm ready. He's ready. Yeah. Where are we going? Straight over 
We are going straight up over. and over. Yeah. So this is gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be a great ride. That's what I've been waiting for all day. Yeah, baby! I can't believe we're going all the way to those mountains, man. That's cool. It's so neat to like see something off in the distance and then go there, you know? It's like real uh real explorer. Sh There's some sand. There's some sand. Don't like that. Yep, we're finding it all right. Oh, see McGiddy. Okay. Okay, well, I don't want to go 60 in the sand. I will say it's the first time I've ever done sand in fifth gear. It is a tire. It's tiring. If I hit that, you might have to retire. Just keep the speed up. Stay on the throttle. Let's get through. Look at the end. Look at the end. Don't look in front of you. Look at the end. Yo, that's a deep spot, dude. Steer with your feet. What are you doing? Steer with your feet. I don't love this, to be honest. Just ride, just ride, just ride, baby. Just ride. This is not something to come in and do if you've never done sand before, if you have no sand experience or very limited sand experience, because the confidence just isn't there. And it never feels awesome, but if you want to come do something like this, I, I think you should. You should make it a goal, but I don't think you should just sign up. Just don't freak out, just ride. Trust the bike, trust yourself. Trust America. What? I don't put that in there. That's a stupid thing to say. Now yeah, we're going up. Okay. This is something. We're on the edge of the mountains, I think. Already? They're not mountains, they're hills, but whatever. You can't tell on the camera, but trust me, we're climbing, baby. Oh my god, look at this cactus. There's some rough stuff. See? Every time I go to shut the camera off. Just blasting through the desert at 50 miles an hour on my Tenere 700. Oh, also, I'm in Mexico. What is this? We got a river. We got actual freaking water in the desert, man. We're going to cross it, man. That's cool, man. I'm going to get a photo, man. There's a whole bunch of sand. Oh, this is cool. Oh, dude, water crossing. Hell yeah, amigo. Hell yeah, amigo. That was cool. That's some BDR shit right there. I'm gonna take a PDR right now. Oh my God, more water. No way, dude. This is cool. This is super cool. Oh, Eddie's down. So am I. Let me help you up and you can help me. Dude, I looked up, you were down. I grabbed the front brake, it was over. It's ready? <clears throat> All right, you can set it down now. <clears throat> yeah, thanks, dude. <sighs> Los Hermanos Pulpos! Beautiful right here. One of our worst places to crash. Well, there goes my sand confidence. I was starting to feel it too. Oh, yeah, dude. That's my adventure for the day. Definitely ready to get out of this damn desert. And that's how it's supposed to be. You have a dumb fall, 
your buddy helps you pick up your bike you laugh about it you keep riding and later you have a beer you know and you talk about it you make fun of each other so well good i was worried this video would be boring you know not so it'll, it'll crash arena one of the reasons why new riders hurt themselves more than more experienced riders is they don't know how to get off the bike like did you see you can't see because you didn't have a third part but like the second that front wheel twisted that far i just let it go and walked off i didn't even fall down i just walked away and you have to develop that instinct for when to let the bike go and not ride it to the ground and also you develop the instinct for what is not a crash so you're not like letting go at the wrong time it takes and it's really hard to teach that it's mostly experience so if you're not there yet don't worry you'll get there and i'm not saying i'm an expert i just get luckier now more often than i used to when it comes to crashing and i've zero damage to me or the bike just let it go down stepped off didn't get trapped underneath it that's what you want you don't want to be underneath a bike like this that is for sure that is not the move you got water into sand deep sand dab and i'm back up we just decided our bikes needed a rest Eddie crushing it. Hell yeah. Let's go, boys. Oh, that is deep. My boots are wet. That's wet. That's deep, bro. Yeah, you can see we're weaving in between the mesas now. We've reached the mountainous area. It's pretty cool, like I said, to have seen it back from the highway and then be here now. Oh, she is a Manelli. Oh, and there's a drop right here. Oh, whoa! Oh my God! I'm wet up to the knees, dude. I'm wet up to my knees. <laughs> uh, I'm wet, I don't know if you can tell. That was very deep. That was very deep. Are they down? What's going on? I don't like to see that. That's Tyler just going back to check. Oh, he's down. He's crashed in the water crossing. Tyler spotted that right away. He was on it, bro. He was turned around before I even got to the top of the hill. Oh, he's wet. He's soaked. You all right, man? Oh, yeah, okay. Well, now you're cooled off, so we could have stopped if you need some water. Yeah. So KC just found the best water crossing here, and uh, we noticed something missing from his bike, so we went looking, and uh, there it is. He streamlined that CB500X, but I, all four uh, wing nuts are, or uh, those nuts are, are popped out. What the hell are they called? Press nuts? No, that's what I do when I wear too tight of pants. We are moving forward once again. Get on up on the dance floor. Get at me, what he asking for? Get at me, what he asking for? Shadows are getting mighty long. We gotta get out of this desert. Stuff is legit, like it's no joke sand. Like, you're not confident, it's hard. I'm not, I mean, I'm mildly confident and it's hard. Well, this is more water crossings than I've done in my life combined all today. Cool little shrine, a couple of them here on the riverbank. That's neat. Looks like there's a path over there. Oh, I should probably look at the sand. Yeah, okay. Look at these vultures ready for us to crash and die. I really see a meal on wheels right now. That is pretty damn deep. Holy hell, that's pretty damn deep. Also pretty damn deep. I'm gonna guess the road gets a little easier because the mission can't have been in the middle of nowhere, right? Theoretically. It had to have been semi-easy for people to get to, otherwise what was the point of the location? Masagua! Have I been signaling this whole time? Oh, I need to not look at my signals. Pay attention to my freaking riding, dude. 
Moss Water Crossings. There he goes. Well, good work, KC. We are running out of daylight, dude. Half an hour, maybe. Maybe. Before we're riding in the dark. Hola, perro. Hola, perro. No, perro, no. No. No, no, SPN, perro. Perro is stupido. It's much closer to the town. Wow, that's gorgeous, dude. That's super cool. Apparently, it's one of the oldest ones out here. Look at that. Super beautiful. Beautiful. Amazing piece of history out here. Let's see? Oh, it's festive here. It's very festive. I think she's blessing our journey. Like, no kidding. I think that's what she did. That's very nice. This is where this mission is. Like, situated in this valley where the river is. This ravine. Wow. That's amazing. Unbelievable. And there's the boys. We've come full circle, boys. So, Tyler said we're about 40 minutes from Loretto. So, uh, it's going to be sunset as we go into town. A full day of riding. So that'll be cool. Look at these cobblestones, dude. It's history. We're riding through history right now. Oh, isn't it? I think it's like a, like a twisty road or something cool like that. Let's see. That'd be cool as hell. Picturesque does not begin to describe it. Beautiful. That's where we're going. Little adventure as we scrub speed waiting for the boys. Very epic shot behind me. I think. Sunset. Hopefully it's coming across. Nope, this is not Loretto. This is just the highway. Alright. Like I said, don't ever trust me when I say I think where I know where we are because I don't. Del Borracho. Del Borracho Saloon. The drunk saloon. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's funny. This is Loretto. So we were almost there, I was right. This is Loretto, that's the Soro. This is a gorgeous view in the morning. It's still pretty right now, just harder to see. That is the Sea of Cortez. We are on the east side of the peninsula. There is our hotel, Hotel Oasis. Loretto BCS. We have arrived, amigos. Not a moment too soon. There's Shay wondering where the hell we are. Beautiful. Good location. Amigo! Oh, amigo! Gracias, amigo. That's all I wanted to see. Gracias, Shay. Gracias.
Good morning. I can honestly say this is the first time in my life I've ever seen the sun come up over the ocean. Now it's cheating because it's the Sea of Cortez and you can see right across there. That must be an island because I can't see all the way across over here. Unique experience for sure. It is gorgeous here. The hotel's pretty cute. Unique spot. That's my room with the open door. What a day yesterday. Today is apparently mostly pavement riding. Some amazing twisties. We're going right up the coast of the Sea of Cortez. So it's just ocean views for days, literally this whole day. So it's gonna be awesome. I'm excited. Day three in Baja. Also, there's a cat here. There's two of them now. There's only one before. This is the cleanup crew. El Gato taking care of the grill. Are we friendly, Gato? Are we friendly? Hola, Gato. Hola. Oh, this is the one I met last night. This is the community cat with no name, I asked. Hi, buddy. All right, so we're here in Loretto. We're going to just hop on the highway here. Um, so the, and we'll stay on the uh, on the highway, and these are this is great, fun, open, the twisty roads. And then we're going to come up on Bahia Concepcion, which is, I told you yesterday, is the most beautiful bay in all of Baja. And the highway, as you can see, is like right on the edge of it. And the water's just insanely clear and turquoise. And it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there's an opportunity to, to come in around the bay. This is, you can see it's a, a dirt road. And we'll just come around the edge and you can just ride on a, uh, ride along the water. And it's epic. It's like epic Baja bay riding super great canyon twisty roads up through this canyon and then over to san ignacio where we'll stay <gasps> ludicrous speed so we've never gone that fast before Interesting. Muy interesante. Muy interesante, amigos. All right, here we go. We're gonna ride the dirt road out to Bahia de Concepcion. Uh, right along the shoreline. Supposedly it's sandy as So let's see how many times I crash. Oh, fun. This is the good We got ourselves some vacas. Hola vacas. Hola vaca amigos. Hola big grande vaca. Holy shit. No thanks. Okay, he ran away. <laughs> Maybe he was going in the road. Things were about to get real interesting. Oh, Tyler's just encouraging our cow friend to move along. Hello cow friend. This is literally a riverbed. Like, oh, this is river rock. This is actually a fun road. I'm enjoying it. Tanner is such a good bike for this stuff. It just eats it up. It's like, where do you want to go, man? Can we go faster? Over there, up that, around that, over that? Cool. Whoa! <laughs> What's up, Cactus? He's reaching out trying to high-five me. Not into that. There's the bay! Sweet, dude. <laughs> yeah, the bay is up here on the left. You can see it. Occasional glimpses through the vegetation. This is a fun sort of. It's interesting. Ow! Mix of terrains like technical, rocky, super rocky, then kind of gravelly flat like this, and then a big sand section, and then you go down into a stream bed, and it's all river rock. So good, uh, good place to practice a variety of skills. And uh, it's fun. It's a fun one. It's like, like I said, challenging, but not difficult or scary. There's another stream bed. See what I mean? Right into sand, into very loose sh sh uh, gravel sand, fine sand, back up onto the gravel. Okay, well, here's actual like beach sand now. Wonderful. I'm really glad I'm down here both in Mexico and on this road at this moment in time of my life. What the hell is this? White sand? Yep. 
and then gray sand, and then white sand. <laughs> white sand beaches. It's gonna be the coolest damn place I've ever ridden a motorcycle. Oh my God, it's right there. It's right there. Wow. Holy my God. Oh, what are we doing? Is this real life? Is this my life right now? Oh my God. Oh my God. So cool. What a way to live, man. Nothing like making a grand entrance. There you go. Now we're all even, dude. Is this an instructional point right here? He wants to It's all about presentation. Right, yeah. Tyler's got it. Bienvenidos a Bahia de Concepcion. Oh, I smell gas. <sighs> Eduardo, you missed your turn, buddy. Oh. A puffer fish? Thanks, man. A little puffer fish. Sea turtle. Dead sea turtle. I told you we were going to be heroes in a half shell. Damn, well. Aren't we in the preserve? No? Goodbye, Bahia. We'll see it on the other side, too. Not a good line, not a good line. Is there a good line? I don't know. don't need to be in fifth. I'm not a doctor of motorcycling, but it feels like a good call. Oh, we're going in the sand. No, it's cobblestones. Wow. Neat. Check out this group rolling in. GS, 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 GS. That's a XR, GS. Big, and look at all this damn luggage. These guys are living off these things. I'm gonna go ahead and guess they're not doing a lot of off-road with the XR in the group. So this is Playa Santistas, I think. Santistas. And uh, we're gonna get some supposedly world-class bomb fish tacos, dude. Bomb fish tacos. Armando Bar. Dude, I gotta get my sticker. Fish tacos. Tyler said the fish tacos are bomb. It's grilled. Sometimes even a broom needs to be swept. Fish taco. Mm. Those tacos on the beach on the first day were pretty legit. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Mm. Yeah, this thing will leave. Mmm. Mm. 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 Salsa mm -hmm. I like this guy, yeah. Fresh fish tacos on the beach. Tyler was right. These are fabulous. Delicious, authentic, fresh fish tacos. Best fish tacos I've ever had. I don't eat fish tacos often, but I would be shocked if I ever had fish tacos again and they were that good. So we are on the road to San Ignacio. Apparently it's all pavement and we have a ways to go. We're going to be pushing to get there for dinner, so we're going to head out. So enjoy the ride, I know I will.
my god, that smells amazing. Oh my god. It's like churros or something. So supposedly the story with this mission is was built for the by the same guy that built the Eiffel Tower and uh, for the same World's Fair. It's made of metal, it's built to be disassembled and transported, and that's what they did. And so now it's here. Beautiful. We got some friends here. Some friends. Oh, we got a Tiger 900. What's that Ducati? So I just had some bomb ice cream with Eddie. I'll put a picture in because I forgot to film it, but I accidentally got a giant cupful, sort of on purpose. We're headed towards San Ignacio. We got about another hour. Oh, cool. We're driving by the ice cream place. This is the ice cream place where I had ice cream right there. Thrifty. It was good. So anyway, an hour to San Ignacio. Once again, we're pushing sunset, but I think we'll make it. I don't think it's going to get dark till 630. Santa Rosalia. That's where we are because you can see at the sign that it's currently backwards. Hotel Desert Inn, San Ignacio. We made it just before the sun went down. Got some palm trees and sunsets. And Eddie, we got an Eddie. Good morning, it is day four. JD is just letting us know uh, what it would take to dissuade him from this adventure. Um, and he's making a pretty compelling argument. Anyway, we're here in San Ignacio. We are getting on the bikes and we're gonna head to the plaza, to the mission, which we went, we actually walked over there last night for dinner. It's beautiful at night. I bet it's even more gorgeous during the day. So I want you to see that. Sounds like mostly pavement today with a really cool, difficult-ish dirt section at the end up to a really cool mission. So looking forward to that. Let's ride. Now look at this, cobblestones. Look at this thing. I want to get a picture of my bike in front of it. Oh, there's Juanillo. This is the little dog we were hanging out with last night. I was giving him like tacos and stuff. And there's an amazing, over here in the corner, taco stand. Tyler said the dude's been here for 30 years making carne asada, so pretty damn good at it. Best street tacos I've ever had. I had four. I mean, that's not a shocker if you know me, but they were really good. Juanillo, Pedro, hola amigo, hola amigo, hola Juanillo, hola amigo. Good boy, you're a good boy. I'm sorry I don't have any food for you this morning. Sorry, bud. But you're doing okay. You're doing okay. You're so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he wants to play and get belly rubs. You're a good boy, Juanillo. You're a good boy, Juanillo. You're a good boy. Yeah, good boy. So cool. Unbelievable. So we are in... Um, San Ignacio. Look at this. It's crazy because you walk into a place like that and it's like you just feel like this the silence like it just feels like a place where words are unnecessary even though there's a sign that says that but like really there's just a feeling to it you know 
Um, that's our last fuel stop. But and there's fuel out here too. This is where we're going. But like this is a huge gap of, yeah. of like no fuel and a lot of people, um, if you don't plan appropriately, you, you find yourself that's in mean. trouble. This is a small fishing village where we're staying. Tons of potholes. Although they have done some repair work. Um, there's always some gnarly potholes that you gotta wear, watch out for. You're gonna ding your rim or something. So just Good face. Don't don't you know we don't we're just gonna cruise at a gentle pace and, and dodge all the potholes. So this is the mission out here that we typically go to. Um, it's gotten more. The reports are that this is much much more difficult than it used to be, and it was difficult before. And then we'll come out here. And just boom, right here to the final stop. All right, man, same deal as yesterday. I'll have some music playing, so we'll uh, probably montage the travel, but I'll try to get you some good shots of anything interesting along the way, including the shot pulling out of the plaza. We've got a military checkpoint. Yesterday they just let us through. I don't know if we're gonna have to talk to them or what today. We'll find out. We're supposed to be over here. Oh, sh uneven ground. Oh, it's a big one. What is this? Well, that was easy. We are here, restaurant La Cienega, for some machaca lunchtime. And uh, it is uh, quite literally in the middle of nowhere. Ready for some machaca? Eddie, are you ready for some machaca? Oh, okay. What you got there, Eddie? Machata. Machata? It's different every time. Machata? Machaca. Hakuna Machacha. <laughs> what a wonderful. That's a lot Hakuna of Hakuna Machacha. So these are way big. Nice. I got burros. I have a lot of people living down here. Different problem. She's more at the. So we are headed off road. This is a road up to a very old mission. Every mission is one of the oldest missions around, according to Tyler, but supposedly we've got kind of a sandy technical road up to this mission. So this will be the off-road riding portion of the day. You know off-road mode doesn't do anything, right? It literally just turns off your uh, rear wheel ABS. Off-road mode is you. You're the off-road mode. Uh, da, 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 da. Boiling. Me gusta. All right, here we go. I've got my gear in off-road mode, got my goggles on. Now you can listen to me talk for a little bit. Wow, look where we're going. Yeah, I'm glad we got off the highway. Good to see some of this. Good to see some of this. We're going to Mission de San Francisco. Not seeing a lot of sand so far, but I'm sure it's right around the corner. There's a big cactus. Oh, jeez, man. Woo! It's Tenere, dude. Just eats it up. Typical day, you know, Mexico. Oh, now, okay, yep, I told you it was right around the corner. What did I say? I said, I bet the sand is right around the corner. And then I went around a corner. Guess what I found? Shockingly, sand. things are cool. I don't know what that is. That's just the top of a, a lower plant. Yo. 
Oh yeah, target fixated. Got that one good. Ugh. Ow. So cool. Not a thing I'd ever thought I'd ever get to do in my life. Like five years ago, 10 years ago, you're like, you're gonna ride a motorcycle through the desert in Mexico. I'd be like, nah, you're looking at someone else. That's a different bit. Boy, it's somewhat washed out. Okay, now we're heading into a sand pit. Fun. Oh, it's just a riverbed. Okay. We're just crossing it. Far faster, faster, faster. Faster, 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 faster. That was not exciting. I didn't like that. This is the actual road to the mission. Are we turning around? Oh my god, we're turning around. Bro, I gotta go back through that? I barely made it. Cool. I'm gonna go right back through the river. Again. It's all good. Just look at the other side and go. Go faster. The problem was slow in this last time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Are you f serious? We have to go up the river bed, up the arroyo, in the sand. This is the road. Okay, cool. Well, there's no way this goes horribly wrong. <laughs> nope. I don't like this, dude. Yeah, I'm in my head about this sand quite a bit. So are we just crossing this or are we going up it? Like, are we getting back on the road up there? This is more sand than I want. It's probably good that the boys aren't here. But we're getting through, right? I got you, bro. I got you. This sucks. How far? Yeah, I don't know, dude. Yeah. If you were like, we're just going right there, right, and you always think it'll get better, it doesn't. I mean, I'm gonna be waddling. This is, I'm just not there on the big bike, dude. Like, once we get out of the, once the, we get back to where the road isn't washed out, we can get back on it, right? Made us feel like we could probably do it, or at least get through it enough to continue at the moment. And the thing is, once I get through this section, I'm not gonna wanna turn around to come back through it, so. This sucks, dude. This is a lot of sand, dude. Just rock there. More, sweet. Did it, bro. Tyler, you're going up the middle because you love sand? Yep. yep. He's an anti-Anakin Skywalker. See him steering with his ass? You were showing off a little. This is gonna be so awesome when we're done. We're gonna feel like such badasses. Right now, I feel like an idiot, but. Tyler's putting on a clinic, sort of. This sucks, bro. Sucks. Tyler's down again. Oh, look, there's the exit. Hell yeah! <laughs> he dropped his backpack. This means stop, dude. You dropped your backpack. You're a rock star. I'm gonna have to tip him for sleeping us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank God you're here and not lost over there somewhere. Hey, 
save, motherfucker! Crushed it, dude. Good save down there. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna waddle it for a bit. <sighs> Try to keep the front end off the ground. And the rest of it, too. Okay. Cool, man. Cool, man. Oh, jeez. This mission better be awesome is all I'm saying, bro. Once again, I told you, I told you Tyler's like, nah, you can do it when I don't think I can. And then it turns out to be right. It doesn't look as deep. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Confidence is shot, bro. Confidence is shot. We're working today, boys. I'm guessing. Yeah. Huh. Ow. This is where I wish I had my jacket zipped up. Because I just landed on my gut. I'm going to take a sec. Oh. I'm okay. I actually landed gut first. I'm going to have to shut this off. I don't have that much uh, memory card left. <sighs> Yeah, I just crashed in a pile of cow shit. Whoa, well, yeah, I'm definitely tired. That wasn't even a hard section, I just misread it pretty badly. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh my God, I can see it, bro. That's what I wanted to see. El Mission, El Mission, Mission, El Mission. <laughs> So this is a very old, very remote mission. And it's not the one I thought it was. It's not San Francisco, even though that's what all the signs said. This is like San... I don't even know. I'm so tired. I have no witty commentary for you guys. I'm just trying to survive the last 50 feet. Jeez, I'm a nelly. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Muy, muy hermosa, amigo. Thank you, Tyler. I said thanks to Jesus. Oh. Wow. So this is the original. Yeah. That's cool. The first, the first All the way up there, the rocks came from that mountain to build this thing. Look at these surroundings. What an amazing place for a mission. And uh, 1500 Indians, 1500 Indians working in the mission. Wow. In 1762. Is this the real deal? Or Undermining it? Yeah. So this, uh, these ruins over here, that's the original mission that they lived in while they built this one. In the 1700s it was made of adobe. Whoa. My grandfather making wine before. Huh. Yeah. This was carved from one rock. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 
lot of history, good and bad, in places like this. Okay, we're gonna ride out. Um, I don't have much memory card left on this. This is the beautiful, so it is, it is the Mission de San Francisco de Abra, something like that. So there's two names, but that is the original mission from the early 1700s, and then they, they built it 70 years before they built this one. Cool piece of history here, and uh, the, it was definitely a good reward at the end of a long ride, but now we have another long, tough ride to get out. Hopefully with fewer river crossings. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm ready. Tomorrow's our rest day, and I'm going to be ready because my shoulder is stiffening up on me already. I'm ready to rest it for a day, and, you know, the only exercise I'm going to get tomorrow is holding a drink. Oh, 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 Tyler! It's fun, he says. It's easy, he says. <sighs> so thank you for finding the deep sand. I appreciate that. It'll be all right. We're gonna get there. It's about the same distance. It took us a really long time to get in here. So it could be an adventure. But that is why we're here. Look at Dr. Seuss trees, man. Crazy. Whoa, whoa! There goes Sky Lord. Okay, found the skid plate that time. I've ever done. Eddie's camera's crooked. I don't give a shit. But look at this reward. This is what I'm talking about. JD's ready for a beer. <laughs> Tyler's Tyler. What a great day to be alive. What a great day to have survived. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, we're gonna go to the hotel and get uh, muchos cervezas. Oh, we are here, Hotel Vientos. This is crooked because the motorcycle is crooked. Never been happier to see a hotel in my life. But an epic, an epic day of riding in every sense of the word. I was at times terrified, exhilarated, uh, moved emotionally. Uh, I had a sense of the forever of history leading up to this moment. These are all serious things. Sounds like I'm joking, but like in the mission. I had delicious food, good friends. Had a moment, had a moment. When I was ready to give up, but in fact I was like, mm, nope, we're just gonna turn around, that's fine. I don't need to ride this that bad. But we pushed through, and at the end of the day, we were flying through a sandy section just as bad as the one that we got stuck and wanted to give up in, like 40 miles an hour. I'm not gonna say confidently, but more confidently. And that is the sign of growth and being pushed to your limits and seeing what happens, so what a day. Oh, I cannot wait to see my room find a shower and a beer and i'd say we've earned it today so thanks for coming along guys thanks for coming along everyone what a ride buenos dias amigos it is i don't even know that's a great thing about a trip like this is i lose track of time i don't even know what day of the week it is i think it's thursday so it is day five of riding and day six of the trip. I'm here in Bahia de Los Angeles. Yesterday was a rest day. I didn't really film anything. Just chilling, having a couple of races. Got to ride in the back of a pickup truck, Mexican style, and uh, see kind of some of the local sites. I'm gonna go over and see if the restaurant's open yet. And if it is, get some coffee and some breakfast. Get packed up, get back on the bike. Today's a long day of highway riding, but I've been promised some Dr. Seuss-like landscape. I'm excited to see that. Three more days of riding, today, tomorrow, 
and then we'll be in Ensenada, and then next thing you know, we're in San Diego. We're almost there, but let's keep riding. Great trip so far. Thanks again to Ride Adventures for the opportunity. It's really cool to see all this. gearing up to leave Los Vientos and Bahia de Los Angeles behind. I'm gonna hit the gas station and then it's about three hours of pavement today, but supposedly through a majestic, amazing, beautiful, fantastic, super neat to see landscape. Yeah, we are two, three more riding days left is all. So everyone's alive. The rest day did us all good and we're ready to continue our journey. Feels good to be back on the bike. Bueno, we're turning around. Uh, apparently we're taking a detour. So the road is blocked off. So Tyler is, uh, and we're taking a work around. This doesn't look too bad. Oh, they're doing construction. Okay. Road construction in Mexico, man. So they just like built this bypass. So you can just ride around it. Interesting. Very cool. Good times. Back on the highway. Huh. That was fun. What a spot. Oh, look at Chihuahua. Oh, those Chihuahuas. Muy bonitos. Uh, there's two more. They're everywhere. I'm gonna take him. Juanil? Oh my goodness. So adorbs. Hola, perros. Hola. Si comida para seis. Hola. Hola, perrito. Oh, es un perrito bonito. See, oh, look how cute he is. Look at this. Oh my God, I want one. Who was on that brain, dude? Cute. A bunch of dogs running around. Got a Tecate tree, so if you're thirsty, you just plant a seed. Next thing you know. So this is restaurant San Ignacito. And the lady was just telling me there's a really nice mission up on the hill, but. Do you know the mission out here, Tyler? We don't have time today, though. Hola, amigo. Oh, you're very nice doggies here. Very nice. Arrows of Mexico, I'm making a calendar. Yeah. It's still machata. Machata. Oh, yeah. back there? Yeah. Jimmy Chandler with meat and beans. So good. Delicious. Chimichangas, homemade, handmade, right in front of us. What a meal. We're getting back on the road and heading on to San Quintin for the night. Restaurante San Ignacito. Give it a shot if you're ever out here in Baja. Very, very cute dogs. And the food's pretty good.
leave the checkpoint. Am I asking way too much? To find this will be enough. Cut the middle from the map. The roads, they don't work like that, I say. Oh, man. Swanky. Right on the ocean, the Pacific Ocean is right over there. So we started this morning on the Sea of Cortez side of the Baja Peninsula and we're ending this afternoon at the Pacific Ocean. So we cross the entire peninsula and we're on the Pacific Ocean for the remainder of the trip because we end up in San Diego, in California. Ooh. Ooh. Trying to run over your foot. Sorry, I killed mine too. Did I get you? I didn't get you. We're at the Pacific Ocean! Yee! Well, the view from my room isn't terrible. So this is the Pacific Ocean. Started out the Sea of Cortez this morning. Now we're on the Pacific. Beautiful. A lot more surf here. Man, I'm hungry. I'm gonna have to head down to the Restaurante in Uno Momento. Amigos, we are not at the end of the trip yet, but the end is definitely nigh. Today is our last full riding day. Uh, tomorrow we will be in Ensenada. We'll get up, we'll go to the border and deal with all that. So it's a little bit shorter riding day. Uh, and then we'll be back in San Diego. So two more days, my Mexico adventure is over. But today, supposedly, there's a decent off-road section. We're going to see some more of the Pacific side. And I'm excited to be here and continue this trip with my new friends. So just had breakfast. I'm going to pack up, get geared up, and get ready to go ride. But what a terrible view to have to wake up to, am I right? It's just awful. I mean, just what a terrible way to have to live. Pretty amazing. Pretty lucky. Thanks again to Ride Adventures for the opportunity. And to Tyler, our guide, and Shy, our support truck driver. Both awesome dudes. And really all the guys on the trip for making it fun. We're not done yet. Let's finish strong. Well, we are suiting up here in San Quintin. Eddie had to switch bikes because he discovered that there was a nut missing from his steering column at the end of yesterday. We don't know what happened there. So he's on Tyler's bike. Tyler's going to take the Africa Twin. Riding up the coast today with a fun off-road section down by the water. And then on to Ensenada tonight. Good times. Let's do it. So we are getting off the main highway and headed towards the coast. It's astounding to me how much greener it is up here. Literally yesterday we were riding through a desert for hours. Now look at this. Let's get a little farther north, get a little bit more water. Whole different biome. <sighs> There's the ocean. Erendira. Woo. Wow, it is windy out here, bros. Not surprising because of the whole ocean thing, you know. Well, isn't this something, huh? Isn't this something? That's gorgeous. But this cliff is not going to last forever. You can see pieces of it disappearing as it is. Yeah, we're going to get into some mud today. It was definitely raining here just like two days ago. Jesus Christ. That seemed unnecessary. Almost hit me. There's Coyote Cows. The sign didn't lie. There it is. Restaurant and bar, Thai food. Well, damn, wasn't expecting that. Motorcycle fuel, high octane, formulated. I guess in, this is lunch. Yep, we're here at Coyote Cows. It's kind of beautiful here. What a terrible place to have to live. This is, oh my God. Right off the city. So 
Okay, delicious, unbelievably huge lunch. I should have filmed some of it because it was like a four course meal here at Coyote Cal's. And now we are going to continue off road up the coast. I'm told this road is quite pleasant until the end and then it isn't. So we will see if that is the case. But I'm guessing the scenery is gonna be spectacular. Beautiful. Wow, cool, dude. Beautiful. Dude, this is gonna be something. This is gonna be something. I can already tell. Unbelievable, man. Just unbelievable. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, can't wait to see this footage. That's fun part. One section. Hopefully they see us. Nope. Wow, guy. Thanks for trying to kill us. That was super fun. Just about to get sketch. Oh man, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Bottomed it out. A little jump there. Oh, I thought it was going down, dude. Oh my God, my adrenaline. Oh, I hit that one weird. I hit that one weird. Oh, jeez. Just ride it out, just ride it out. I did not see that rut. Okay. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. Whoo! Scared myself. Oh! Why do I feel like that's my buddy hill climb? I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's way worse than that. Oh, don't tell me there's turns on it. I don't want that. I don't want turns on my hill climb. That's the worst. I don't like that you're slowing down right now, dude. Tell me this is not the climb out. Tell me this is not the climb out. Okay, good. It's not the climb out. I was worried. It's having a little moment. Oh, this might be the climb. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Go ahead and guess this is the challenging climb because it's mildly challenging and we're climbing. Wow. Wow. The view though is not awful. It's awful bright so I can hardly see it, but it's not awful. Wasn't bad, just long, tiring. Is that not our road? We're going this way? Going You're just trying to find a viewpoint? Yeah. I thought it was the one at the bottom on the other side. I was like cursing your name. The one that went up the 
Yeah. Yeah, and you were slowing down, and I was like, Tyler, bro. <laughs> but it was not, so I feel good. Ooh. Slippery, slippery, slippery. Oh, we got some animals. Goat. Um, nope, cows. A couple calves. Mama cow. Don't piss her off. This one's just gonna run alongside Tyler, I guess. He's running for his mom, I bet. Mom, this thing's chasing me. Moss vacas. Moss. Hola vacas. I did too. I'm like slowing down like, can I? Maybe? Okay, if I get to there, I'm like, no, I don't want to do any hill climbs with turns on it. Okay, little little uh, rest stop, little breather, but we got to get there before it gets dark. So we're going to head out. This road's supposed to be a little faster. Apparently there's 20 more kilometers. Oh, and I was like, good gracious, that's about dacious. Every time I say, oh, when I crash, it's like the first thing that jumps in my head. Better stop though, I sound so much like Nelly. I'm gonna get a copyright strike. Mexico, Mexico, me gusta Mexico. Ah, oh, this has just been a spectacular trip. Just really fantastic. I think I've had a great time, seen a lot of stuff, eating a lot of amazing food, hung out with some great guys, saw some cool sights, got some good writing in. It's like everything you could ask for, you know. This is a trip you can come do for yourself. You can come do it with Tyler. There's at least one other guy that works down here. Same trip, same hotels. You can do it in either direction. You can go up from Cabo like we did or down uh, from San Diego to Cabo. Uh, going from Cabo to San Diego is cheaper, $400 cheaper. So the trip that we did is actually the cheaper one, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this one so that other people wanted to sign up. They could save a little money. And you know, your hotels are covered, bike rentals included, uh, the fuel has been included on this one. So, you don't have to plan anything, you just show up and ride. And Tyler handles all the logistics, you got the support truck carrying your luggage, you got, uh, you know, help with something goes wrong, like on the first day when Paul went down, they're right on the sat phone, I got the truck there, got him loaded up, took him to the hospital while the rest of us kept riding. So not only is there support if you get in trouble, but your trip doesn't end if someone on it gets in trouble. Sure was nice to have Shy there for that. He's a rock star, awesome guy, best support truck driver on the planet as far as I'm concerned. He just keeps like going above and beyond. Like he's like cleaning our mirrors and stuff in the mornings, checking our tire pressure and uh, making sure we have enough water because he went and got us like this giant thing of water that he filled up and we can fill our hydration packs out of. Just a, just a really good guy, very accommodating, very. He's like, a couple guys weren't feeling good and he ran into town and found him some antibiotics. Like, he's just making things happen. I'm not even sure if people are asking, he just does it because that's who he is. Ooh, what's up, Cal? No thanks. So you just feel really taken care of, safe. I had a lot of concerns about coming to Mexico, to be honest, and I know a lot of people do. You hear a lot of stuff about cartels and military checkpoints. And, and I'm not home yet, but we're pretty damn close to the border. And Tyler says he's never seen any of that stuff in Baja and he lives here, so. You know, I take his word for it. Everyone's been super nice. Obviously, I'll link the tour and the website in the description if anybody wants to check it out, try to book one of their own. Highly recommend it. What an adventure it has been. And here we are dodging cows. Ooh, that one's, that one's unhappy. What's up, bud? You look, you look a little wary. I don't like the look in your eye. Or the horns on your head, for that matter. Oh! Why did I turn my other camera off? Dude! That was fun. But anyway, that was, uh... That was a jump. It's fun. It's pretty fun. Oh. Yeah, we, did. we don't want to go ride on this one. That is deep. That is like a sheer cliff right there. So you know it's deep. Oh, good save, Tyler. I thought you were getting wet, buddy. I thought you were getting very wet. Okay. Got some garbage burning. Fun. 
a lot of garbage burning, just like on the side of a random hill. Okay, cool. Hey, all right. This must be the highway. Well, I'm sad I didn't have the side camera running because I have a flat, which uh, I sort of predicted. What? Yeah, that's my plan because the tire was not looking so good at the beginning of the day. I was worried about that. Unfortunately, it's a rear, which is a bigger pain in the ass. And uh, we don't have any rear tubes, we only have fronts. And I'm on the only Tenere without a center stand. So, real fun. Good. Let's get back on the road. Well, we were pushing to make it before dark as it was, so now we're definitely not gonna. And I guess the traffic going into Ensenada is really bad, so uh, it's gonna take us another hour to get there, probably. Oh, but big shout out. Thank you to JD, Tyler, and Eduardo. We got that done in 15 minutes. You know how long it takes me at home? An embarrassingly long time, so that was much faster. Well, there, could, there are worse places to have to change a flat. At least we got this flat area here. Yeehaw, Fullers. Yeehaw. Uh, what was I saying earlier about how great it is to have a guide and support? Well, there you go. And we're off. <laughs> so we were literally a mile from another checkpoint. So here we are. Apparently we're just going to cut the line and hope for the best because they are currently inspecting a semi to make sure it's not full of howitzer cannons or something. But... Oh, they're just letting us go. Good. They don't care about motorcycles because we can't hide anything. All right, well, that was easy enough. It's so like weirdly dusty. It's weird looking with all the lights. Kind of crazy. I feel like I'm in a dystopian sci-fi movie right now. We sort of slow down at stop signs, even in the dark. Literally a taco truck, but it's like a truck. Anyway, that's what we're doing right now. Driving through the city at night in the dust. Trying not to die. Good times. Well, here it is, Hotel Mission Santa Isabel. Pretty sure this is where we're going. the world's biggest torta. Look at my hand. Holy crap, but it's not as big as half a burrito. Olivia. How's your little normal sized tacos treating you, Eddie? Uh, it's so poquito. It's so small. It's so small. day of riding in Mexico. Today we head north to the border at Tecate and cross back into the United States and head to San Diego. So there may or may not be a little bit of off-road today. I'm not sure what, this, what the plan is with timing, but either way, one hell of a trip, but it's not over yet and I need coffee. This is service, boys. They're putting new tubes in for Eddie and I. I'm getting a whole new tire. Thanks, fellas. Least we could do is go get him a whole bunch of coffee, which is 100% my idea. I'm kidding, that was all Jeff. No. But I did help carry it back. And of course, I'm on the Tenere with no center stand, so had to improvise again, but that's good. That's good improvisation. Great ride, thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Awesome. One, two, Thanks great ride on three. Yeah. One, two, three. Ride! Yeah. <laughs> that was very uncoordinated. Let's ride. All my home is gonna ride today. Hey, we're gonna have a good day. I'm gonna stop. Suited up, brand new tire, new brake pads. So I'm gonna scrub in both of those today. We're gonna hit the road. 
Make a run for the border. I've been wanting to say that in context for like 25 years. <laughs> Last day, bittersweet. Excited to get home. It's been a hell of a trip and, I, and I'm excited to relive it through all the videos. I'm so glad I filmed so much. I miss my wife, I miss my dog, I miss my cat. Oh, my kid, I miss my kid. Vamos a America. I go to America. It's Borat. Tyler's got a flash. Damn it. We're cursed. We're cursed. Spent all morning changing our tires and just noticed that his is flat. All right. Un momento. We will eventually leave Mexico, but not quite yet. Okay, take two. Tyler's front is changed, and I think we're good. I'm not going to say anything this time. I ruined it last time. He's trying to show off. Vamanos. Amigos. Una poca la gracia. Una poca la gracia. Amigo, amigo. I don't actually know the words. So we just stopped here in Guadalupe for uh, brunch, really. Just had a couple tacos, and but we are headed for the border. Supposedly it's like an hour away. And then back to America. You ready to be in America? Japones! Japones! Adios, Mexico. Hola, America. Vamos. Adios, Guadalupe. Got ourselves a street performer. Probably not showing up on the camera, but do this at stoplights and then ask for tips. Look at that ball still spinning. How the hell did he do that? I think we're getting pretty close to the border. I mean, I think so. I don't actually know, but we're in Tecate, which is not all beer factories, shocking. I made a bunch of jokes about it, but there's actually a Tecate factory right over there. <laughs> so there is one, big one here in Tecate. Okay, well, now I don't know what we're doing. I thought we were at the border. But apparently we're stopping for refrescos. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? One last stop in Mexico. Got a little present for my wife and child, whom I love. And uh, apparently this border closes in 45 minutes. I don't know if Tyler's messing with me or not, but either way, we're gonna get across it. We are right here, supposedly. Come on, guys, we gotta go to America today. Dibby just hit the wall, she never heard it all. One Prozac a day, husband's a CPA. Tyler's doing his secret magic insider knowledge stuff or something. I don't know. We're getting around. Look at that, they got hot, fresh tacos right there. Oh crap, they're shy. Damn, dude. They're shy right there. There's our truck, dude. That's our homie. What up, homie? Man, can you imagine you're waiting in line, you're hungry? Fresh tacos and burritos. They got the uh, the good potato chips. There's a border right there. I think we just skipped like a lot of traffic. Welcome to the United States. One at a time. Oh, they're gonna let Eddie in. I'm shocked. Afternoon. All good. Thank you. Well, they've decided to let me back into America. Welcome to California, friends. Adios, Mexico. 
Bienvenidos a California. Mm -hmm. That didn't take that long. 15 minutes, not even. I mean, we're not out yet, but the hard part's over, I assume. Oh man, I thought that was a McDonald's right there. It's like the first thing you see when you get to America. This is the most American thing there is, McDonald's. This might be where Itchy Boots crossed. This is like exactly what she saw when she came across. I think it is. I think it is. Is this where Itchy Boots crossed? That looks very familiar. Crazy. So, we're in America now. Welcome to America, my friend. Is this your first time visiting our great country? Perhaps California is unknown to you. Well, it's good to be back in America. I want my sunglasses for Shurika. How do I kiss the bus to LA? I have no idea. That's the first time I've ever been here. Oh, yeah, the bus driver. There's a bus behind us. All right, now we have to follow traffic laws and stuff because we're back in America and they're no longer a suggestion. All right. Vamos a San Diego, amigos. Good to be home. shelter our best western island palms San Diego there we are it's the next morning beautiful sunny San Diego last day of the trip I'm gonna head to the airport in a couple hours but I just wanted to wrap it up and kind of talk about the experience and, and say thank you to a bunch of people so uh, first off biggest thank you to Ride Adventures for the opportunity to come on this trip what an amazing adventure you know, a week in Mexico, riding motorcycles almost 1,400 miles. Pretty cool. Uh, not the kind of adventure. Easily the longest motorcycle trip I've ever taken. So cool to see all of Baja from Cabo to San Diego. And just a lot of really great footage, a lot of really great time. So I want to thank Ride Adventures. I want to thank Tyler, our guide. I want to thank Shy, our support truck driver. I want to thank all the guys on the trip. Even Paul, who only made it a little ways, but was with us in spirit. But Paul, JD, Hefe, Eddie. KC, Tyler, if you want to go on a trip like this of your own, this is the way to do it, I'm telling you. I can't tell you how many times we were incredibly thankful for our support truck and our guide. Um, I think we changed, f uh, well, so three bikes got flats, but two of them had to be changed twice because we only had 21 inch tubes and we had to put 18s in when we got back to the hotel. So um, that's five tire changes that we didn't have to do. Uh, we helped out, obviously, but but the guys had it well in hand. Nice enough to carry all your stuff on the bike. Nice to know that if somebody gets hurt or goes down, there's not only someone to come pick them up and pick up the bike, but a spare bike. Eddie had to swap bikes the last two days. It's because a nut randomly came off and we couldn't find it on his Tenere. Nothing was really wrong with it, but uh, he couldn't ride it like that. So uh, he swapped bikes and Tyler got on the Africa Twin and we just kept going. Supported trip's the way to go, in my opinion. Totally worth the money. I just want to thank Eric at Ride Adventures for this opportunity, and I'm looking forward to going on more trips with these guys. So I will put a link in the description for you so you can check out all the trips Ride Adventures puts on. You can come and take a tour with Tyler, maybe even have Shai as a support driver. Uh, there is another guide that does Baja as well, whose name is escaping me at the moment. But uh, if you do end up signing up, tell them Dork sent you. I'm sure they'd like to hear that, that watching these videos has inspired people to come and, and take the trip for themselves. What an amazing trip. What an amazing adventure. I am tired. I'm hungover because we had quite a celebration last night. Let's just say we started the evening with a full bottle of tequila and ended it with no tequila. 
<laughs> so excuse me if I'm a little subdued, but definitely feeling the effects of that today. But what a great way to end a great trip with a great bunch of guys. Can't wait for the next one. So for now, and as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching this series. Hope you enjoyed the trip as much as I did. And please do not forget to be excellent to each other. I thank you. Excellent!